Hello my brothers, hello my sisters. Today is the day that the Lord has made and I am so glad, so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it each and every day. And if you know that God has your back and if you know that God has already worked it out for you and if you like me in love with Jesus and you love praising him and you love magnifying his holy name right now today, I want you to give him some thanks right now. I want you to give him some praise right now. I want you to give him some glory in his house right now, knowing that Jesus has already worked it out, knowing that your problem is fixed, knowing that whatever that you ask for and wish for, that it's already done, my sisters, that it's already done, my brothers. Jesus is worthy to be praised. I say Jesus is worthy to be praised and that's why I love praising him that's why I love magnifying him because he's always there for us no matter what we're going through no matter what we're facing he said that you can ask for anything or wish for anything in his name and he said he'll do it there's no question about it it's already done the situation is already fixed your problem is fixed your answer is it's already done. Right now, some of you right now, you're just not aware of it yet. It's like myself. But it's done. Give Jesus the thanks. Give him the praise. Look what he has done for every last one of us. Doesn't he deserve the praise? Doesn't he deserve the glory? He deserve it all. Everything is about him. He controls and runs the whole show all by himself. He don't need no help. But by him giving you a chance. And give you an opportunity. Give him thanks my brothers and sisters. Praise his holy name. He is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. And it's always a blessing my sisters and my brothers. That y'all guys tune in each and every day. To always listen to another word. And another message. That's coming from my heavenly father God. Minister LT won't let you know how thankful, how grateful, how honored and blessed I am that y'all take y'all time out of y'all busy schedule to always listen. Thank y'all for being obedient and thank y'all for being good servants of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And before we get into this word, before we get into this message today, I would love for every last one of my sisters and my brothers right now to please bow your heads as we begin to pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, God, we come to you today. Just want to say thank you again. We want to say thank you for this beautiful, blessed day today, what you have done and what you are doing in our life right now today. We want to say thank you for answering our prayers today. We want to say thank you for our help today. We want to say thank you for our healing, our anointing, our breakthrough, and our blessing today. We want to say thank you for moving melts on our behalf today. We want to say this thank you, Jesus, that we're able to praise you today, to seek you today, to glorify you today. We want to say thank you for this word and this message that we're about to receive today. We want to say thank you for the open doors. We want to say thank you for the healing. We want to say thank you for doing things that we didn't even ask for, Jesus. But we want to let you know that we love you right now today, Jesus. We want to let you know that we trust you right now today, Jesus. And even though we're going through some things, and even though things are not adding up, it's not making sense. But we still trust in you, Jesus. We still holding your hand. We still walking on water. And even though we don't know where you guiding us to and where we directing where you directing us to, but we trust you, Jesus. We trust you, Jesus. We want to let you know that we love you. You are everything. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in our homes right now today. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in our finances right now today. Holy Spirit, we love you right now today. Holy Spirit, we ask you to speak to us right now today. Holy Spirit, we ask you to heal us and touch us in a mighty way today. Holy Spirit, we ask you to do something different today in that life that you ain't never done before. In Jesus' mighty holy name, amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. And today is the day of salvation, my brothers and sisters. I can never stop saying this because nobody knows the time, nobody knows the date, and nobody knows the hour when God's going to call you home or something tragic is going to happen in your life. And right now today, it's a lot of people right now has already done left us. They're dead and gone right now today. But it's something they didn't ask. There's a lot of people right now that's fighting for their life right now today. But it's something they didn't ask. Because why? They kept pushing it off. They kept saying, I'll do it later. I'll do it next week. I'll do it next month. i do it next year. I got plenty of time. I'm in good health. My brothers, my sisters, tomorrow is not promised to nobody. 
Next week is not promising nobody. Next month or next year is not promising nobody. But while you still have your chance right now today, and you still have an opportunity right now today, that you have a voice right now today, and that Jesus has given you the strength right now today, and if you have not asked Jesus to come into your life, today is the day that you need to ask so right now today. And all you got to do is say, Lord Jesus, I don't know what's going to happen right now. I'm not worrying about what people might think or say about me. I'm not worrying about the haters. I'm not worrying about the doubters. I'm not worrying about the naysayers. But right now, it's something I have to ask. And I know I should have been asking you this long time ago. But right now, I'm being man enough and I'm being woman enough and being speaking boldly. And I'm asking you right now today to come into my life to be my Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that, right then and there you're saved, you're born again, you have just accepted the Holy Spirit in your life right now today. And I don't know who it is right now today, but I believe somewhere around the world that every man, every woman, every boy, and every girl has made their way to the altar or in their room has boldly confessed that right now today, the angels in heaven are rejoicing right now today. And I just wanna say amen to you, my sister and brothers, and amen to you, every little boy and every little girl. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Let's give him praise. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My brothers, my sister, I have an anointing word today. It's in my spirit. And, and as I was work today and the Holy Spirit was just, I was just meditating, the Holy Spirit just really hit me and say, LT, I really need you to speak on this because I know this message is really for you, but it's also meant for somebody right now today. And as I was sitting there listening, I said, okay, Holy Spirit, what is it? And the Holy Spirit just hit me and said, you are in the fight of your life. And the reason why you're in the fight of your life, once you drop everything and you start following Jesus and you start trusting him, right then and there, the enemy is going to hit you with everything he's going to hit you with right now today. I don't know who this word for. I don't know who this message for. It could just be for me. By the end of the day, I'm going to preach this anyway because this is what God wants me to preach on and I'm going to speak it. Amen? Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life. I can't thank you enough for our health. I can't thank you enough for our strength. I can't thank you enough for our healing. I can't thank you enough for our knowing. I can't thank you enough for our deliverance. I can't thank you enough for our breakthrough. I can't thank you enough for our blessings. I can't thank you enough for who you are, what you have done, what you're doing in our life. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy on Heavenly Father God. I can't thank you enough for our strength. I can't thank you enough for the food that you put on our table, the clothes and shoes on our back. I I just can't think of how you provide it. I can't think of for the air that we able to breathe. I can't think you know that we able to get on our knees each and every day to pray to you that you answer our prayers. I can't think you know that we able to open up our Bible to receive a word and a message from you. I can't think of for the Holy Spirit, how the Holy Spirit is moving through us right now today. I can't think of for your love. I can't think of for your faithfulness. I can't think of for your giving. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 Jesus, I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I worship you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. Glory and hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Glory! Amen and amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bible to John 16, and we're going to read verse 33. That's John chapter 16, and we're going to read verse 33. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive this word, let the church say amen. Amen. Let's begin. I have told you these things so that in me, you might have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. You will have trouble. But take heart, he's saying. I have overcome the world. He's telling you that sometimes 
Not sometimes, but all the time, you're going to have trouble once you drop everything and you follow him. You're going to have trouble when you trust him. You're going to have trouble when you praise him. You're going to have trouble when you glorify him. You're going to have trouble when all you do is seek Jesus. You're going to have trouble. And right now, some of you right now, you are in trouble. Right now, you are in the fight of your life right now today. Once you sit there and say, you know what? I'm leaving the net. I'm leaving my mama, my father, my brother, my sister's home, and I'm following Jesus because the word of God said once you leave everything and you follow him, that you will receive a hundredfold. And right now, some of you had some of you right now have done just that. You start to follow Jesus. And by you following Jesus, the enemy is hitting you in all kind of places right now. He's hitting you in the upper cup. He don't brush your lip. He don't knock your light out. He don't hit you in your eye. He don't hit you in all kind of places. He don't hit you in your finances. He don't hit you in your marriages. He don't hit you in your health. He don't hit you in your dreams. And he's still knocking you out. He's still hitting you blow by blow, shot by shot. But every day, you are still getting up and you're still facing them. I tell you what, my sisters. I tell you what, my brothers. You you got to be a strong individual to get hit the way you get hit, to get knocked out the way you get knocked out, and get body shot, be body shot the way that you are right now in your fight, right now. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today, but somebody right now, you are getting hit right now. Right now, you are in a fight of your life. And the reason why I know that you're in a fight of your life, I'm in a fight of my life. Once I left everything back home in Charlotte, North Carolina, just to follow Jesus, and I still follow him, I'm still trusting him. The enemy has been hit me, hit me in all kind of places. It's been hitting me in my finances, it's been hitting me in my health, it's been hitting me in my dream, it's been hitting me in my marriage. But no matter how many times that devil knocked me out, I'm always asking Jesus to give me the strength. Jesus gave me the strength. Holy Spirit comfort me right now. Holy Spirit continue me to go on each and every day. So right now, I'm in a fight of my life. And the reason why you are in the fight of your life, because Jesus is about to reveal his glory to you somehow, some way. I don't know who this word for right now today. I don't know who this message for right now today. But Jesus will reveal his glory to you. You got to be a strong individual to get hit the way that you get hit. Everybody's not tough like you, my sisters. Everybody's not tough like you, my brothers. Some people can't take hits like that, especially in their marriage. Their husband not sleeping with them. Their wife not sleeping with them, not getting them love. What's the first thing they do? Jesus, I can't take this no more. I want the flesh. What you do? You drop out. Some people can't take it. And they get hit in the finances. I can't take it no more. So let me go on back doing this. Some of you getting hit in your health. Some people get hit in your dream because you don't see your dreams coming to pass. And what you do, you give up and you walk out of your dream. But the ones who are still in that ring right now today, the ones who are still taking blow by blow, the ones who are still taking uppercut by uppercut, the ones who know how they, they not, their lights knocked out. More than one time, because I know I have, he has knocked my lights out more than one time on several occasions. But I still stand back up. I still get back up. I still go back at it each and every day. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping till I see the glory of Jesus. And I know for a fact, the reason why that you haven't given up yet, my sisters, the reason why you haven't given up yet, my brothers, you want to see the glory of Jesus. So get ready because Jesus will reveal himself to you in your finances, in your health, in your dreams, in your marriages, in your breakthrough, in everything that you're going through right now today. So continue to fight because the word of God said you will have trouble. And right now, that's the trouble that you're in because why? You are in the fight of your life and the devil every time he hit you he said i know i don't knock his lights out i know i don't bust his lips i know i just broke his nose i just know i get him concussion and he's still standing here she's still standing here and the more that you continue to stand up and face that dirty devil he's already weakening each and every day because there's two he don't have no power first of all second of all he's saying guess what they still trying me they not afraid of me look where i'm hitting them at and they still bouncing back to me. And the third thing, he going to have to walk away. He going to have to walk away. Because why? You still standing up. It ain't how many times that you try. It's how many times you keep getting back up. And you keep getting back up over and over and over and over again. And the reason why you keep going, you getting back over. The reason why you keep getting back up. 
first of all, is your faith. That's one thing. The main thing, you still trust Jesus, no matter what. Jesus, you know I'm getting knocked out. You know I'm taking blow by blow. You know I'm taking body shot by body shot. You know he don't broke my jawbone. You know he don't knock my lights out several times. You know he don't give me a concussion or two. You know he don't give me an upper cup. You know he don't bust my lip. You know I got a swollen face, but I'm still facing him each and every day. I'm still trusting each and every day. I'm still walking on water each and every day. I'm still got my faith with you each and every day. And you're still taking those punches. You're still taking those hits. You're still taking those licks each and every day. Everybody's not strong enough to go through that. And once the enemy notice how strong you are, how strong your faith is, how strong your trust is, he got to walk away. And the reason why he's walking away, because the glory of Jesus is coming your way. The glory of Jesus is coming your way. That is a bet. That is a promise. I know for a fact, because there's no way. That Jesus is going to allow the enemy to continue to hit you, to hit you the way that you get hit. And you still trust in him. And you still believe in him. And you say, no matter what, I'm in this for the long run. Because why? You're committed to Jesus. You're dedicated to Jesus. You're hungry for Jesus. And you're thirsty for Jesus. The word of God said, when you hunger for him, you shall hunger no more. When you thirst for him, you shall thirst no more. And that's why you still in that ring. Some people they already backed out of the ring. Some people don't want to win. Some people say, you know what? That's too much for me. I ain't trying to get hit like that. I do not want that punishment right there. I don't want that kind of trouble. I'm fine right here on the sideline. But you, my brothers, you, my sisters, you say, no matter what, I want this. I know I'm going to get hit. I know what I'm going through. I know what I'm going to face. I know trouble going to come. But one thing you got to realize, my brothers, my sisters, now this is the nail, this is the nail in the coffin. I know trouble going to come, but what's the main thing? Trouble does not last long. Mm, I'm going to say that again. Even though you're in trouble right now, and even though you're in the fight of your life right now, right now today, the whole point of this message, the whole key of this message, trouble don't last long. And the reason why trouble don't last long, because the enemy already don't ran the flee. The enemy has already done ran and flee because you have stood the test. You didn't run. You didn't punk out. You stood and you took every last shot that he gave you. Shot by shot, blow by blow. You stood there. And that's why trouble don't last long. Because why? Jesus has already overcame the world. So look, he went through the same thing. And then his glory get revealed. And by he went through it first, you're going through it. So his glory got revealed. He's going to reveal his glory to you. Trouble don't last long. You might be in trouble in your marriage right now. You might be troubling your finances right now. You might be in trouble in your health right now. You might be in trouble in your dreams right now. But get ready. Jesus is going to reveal his glory to you because trouble don't last long. Trouble does not last long. I don't know who this word for. I don't know who this message for. But I know it's for somebody. It could just be for me. I don't know. But I'm going to preach it anyway. And if this word is for you, and if you know for a fact that this message for you and you're in a fight of your life, one thing you got to realize, my sisters and my brothers, trouble does not last always. It only lasts just for a minute. It only lasts just for a moment. Get ready. Jesus is about to reveal his glory to you in, in your marriage, in your finances, in your health, in your dreams. Do you believe it today? And if you believe it today, I want you to receive it. I want you to claim it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Give him the glory in his house. In Jesus' mighty and holy name. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you because we will receive your glory today. We will receive your promise today. We will receive your healing today. We will receive your anointing today. We will receive your deliverance today. We will receive your breakthrough today. We will receive your blessing today. We're going to receive it. We receive it. We receive it. In Jesus' mighty and holy name. Glory. Hallelujah. Before I close. I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray on me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus by us praying this simple little prayer that God is already working everything got in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment 
my YouTube channel is Withers AOT. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always praise him. And always trust him no matter what. Trouble don't last long always. You might be in a fight of your life. But trouble does not last always. Get ready. He will reveal his glory to you. This minister LT, I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' mighty holy name. In Jesus is always number one. Amen.